All right, so we have the full patch notes for Season 6, and uh, I'm hoping for some good stuff. Let's just say I'm hoping for some good stuff, and we need some very good stuff. But we shall see. I think this is going to be a very dead season. The way they construct it, in my opinion, is that the fest updates, the fest seasons, are just mid as hell. Because they're all centered around the fest unit. And then we've got the other updates, which are a lot better, right? A lot better. Um, but I think that this should have probably been a very good update because of the fact people are starting to get, I feel like, a bit more bored. Or at least I'm feeling it. But I think that could also be because I'm playing other stuff now for once, which, you know, so that's a thing. But overall, good thing that we have the patch notes. We're going to also be swapping in between uh, here and KR. What is this? Okay, here in KR, so that I could kind of explain everything. And, uh, okay, nice. So this is one of the updates I think we're going to see. But uh, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. So let's go into it. That I had up because of the Black Clover quiz. So there's that. Now, let's start. So maintenance update, April 2nd, Tuesday. So it's going to be opening at 6 a.m., which actually, that's bad. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I could probably make stuff, but it's just, it's going to depend on if the actual stuff is good then we're gonna get 220 black crystals chapter 10 so chapter 10 if we go to um jp if we check it out um chapter 10 wow it's the start uh, oh no it's the end of okay i was gonna say so it's the end of the witch forest so there's gonna be also black asta and all the destiny vanessa scenes um very good animations have fun watching that i think it's actually pretty good then Summon update, so we're going to be getting the Season 6 Raid Up Summons for Yami and Luck. So let's pull up Yami and Luck and start talking about them a bit. So I'm going to do a proper Should You Summon on um, Monday, since they come out Tuesday morning. But essentially, or no, uh, when should I do it? Where what? Where's Friday? Oh, there's still time. There's still time. Okay, I'm fine. So uh, Yami is like, okay. I just... He's cool. Like, he's cool. He doesn't really work for PvP. Neither does Luck, because Mono Blue kind of sucks. No really good supporters for Mono Blue that, like, make Mono Blue good. Where you got Charlotte for, um, what's it called? Charlotte for green, for barriers, and then you got Witch Queen and Yuno for Mono Red, which we already know that. So, these two units are, like, it's just whoever you want more, right? That's kind of how I see it. Yami's pretty good for PvE. So is luck on mono blue, but if you don't really have mono blue built up, I'd say just go for Yami. Um, I don't really think anyone should put a single crystal in them, but obviously for the um, Gateway of Destiny, that's something you guys should consider. Then skill page summon season 6 raid up, and then premium black crystal uh, step up summon. I don't think anyone should touch either of them. Yami's isn't actually that bad if we check it out, where he gets some um, increased damage when he uses the skill 1, and it also puts increased speed when he uses the skill 1, and you do want to spam the skill 1. Uh, Lux also isn't horrible because it adds the dot of electrocute on everyone which luck does need so it's not bad uh overall though not needed i think that well the pickups are going to be julius and mario so just keep that in mind um next up we've got gear summon so this uh is what we saw if i could pull it up um so yes 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 i'm going to open up in google so we see it this is what it was i guess it was actually a paid banner that they're adding um I just don't get it. I don't. We don't, like, who's going to summon for gear in premium format? Who? Who's using their premium crystals to summon for gear? Unless it's the new gear sets, there's no way people are summoning for gear. Okay? Because you're telling me this is for whales who already have all the gear they need. Already. Like, what? Like, what is this stupidity? What is this stupidity? What is this stupidity? I don't like that. And it's premium, so no free-to-play player is going to be able to get it because it's paid crystals, okay? Paid crystals. They could have made a gold banner and I would have summoned for it. Okay. Well, there is this too, but what? Oh, I'm blind. I didn't see gear summon. That's still weird that there's... Okay. I feel like maybe I overreacted there, but at the point that there's still normal gear summons... So that means there's going to be the shit banner and the good banner, but the good banner no one wants to summon on. Because it's mainly free-to-play players that need more gear, if we're being honest. Because whales get an extra 900 stamina a day, okay? So I just... I don't really understand this system. Um, we're going to have to see how it is. But I just see no point that you should summon for this. They could have given you a gold banner and would have been better. 
a banner where you just summon for gold would have been better. I just also, I, I don't understand making a normal gear summon at a paid gear summon. But we're going to have to see. Um, I'm just a bit annoyed that there's gear summons in Black Clover now. They could have just made the rates better in the thing. And also the worst, okay, no, I'm going to talk about that later. I'm going to talk about that later. Okay, so seven day attendance. All right, that's good. So some pulls. Then spring picnic baskets event. I think uh, JP is also getting that or has that. It should be this one. Um, if we can check it out, it should be this, right? Um, the one on the global uh, JP is a lot better, but we're not going to compare it to JP's because of different stuff. Um, dice event, okay, stamina, then bingo event, all right. You all already know the horrors that happened with the bingo event, but um, okay. So the season's also going to be going till the 30th, it seems. Let's check the battle pass to make sure. Uh, Spire of Honor, Conquer event. All right, um, mid update, mi uh, sorry, mid event. I, I, not really that crazy. Now, oh, what is this? Event arena burning time. All right, so it's just a burning time. I thought it was the actual event arena tab, but it's not. So we got raid. Okay, so there's raid, spire of honor, and event arena, and then stamina burning time. Hopefully, the stamina burning time re rewards are good. I think if they're gonna have burning times, they should make the rewards for the burning times a lot better. So spire of honor. Okay. Uh, play Kidna, so it's to kill page, uh, dupe, which I don't, I would have rather Bethel Gigas, but they just brought, um, Bethel Gigas, so I guess it's to have, um, the buffed play Kidna, so I mean, that's more content, I guess, April 18th is when we're gonna have actual content, then, Event Arena, what is the rewards, this is a limited time mode during this, oh god, during this period, power and technique mages are forbidden in the arena, is Mario out at this point? Is Mario out at this point? Mm. Mario comes out on the 18th. So inside this, you're going to have Mario. So people who have Mario are going to crush. People who don't have Mario are going to get wiped. <sighs> okay. Um, that's funny. You can only use greens. All right. Use the Ventorina coins to exchange for accessories and accessory upgrade stones. Oh my god, it's the same mid shop. Same mid shop. Whatever. Okay. Um, squad Arena. What is the update? I, okay, no update, I guess. Then pack update, obviously, gotta have the pack update. Um, so season six pack update and growth pack update. Okay, battle pass goes till the 30th. So season seven starts on the 30th. Okay, and then, which means April 30th to like beginning May, then beginning May to end of May. So I think uh, anniversary is gonna be like dead, dead, dead end of May. Now this is the actual important stuff. New system, advanced gear dungeon. Select one advanced gear dungeon to challenge three times each day. This should mean the new gear sets are coming because the main way we got the new gear sets on JP is through the advanced gear dungeon, which I have to do. Um, basically, you're able to get the gear sets, right? Now there's two gear sets. Um, and these are new gear sets, which we'll talk about in another video if they actually do come, but I don't know if they will. Uh, people are going to probably want to go for this one if I'm remembering correctly. Is this no that not that one? I need to find it. Which one is it though? It's the one when you're above 90% HP. But I feel like I'm tripping, man. Um no, it's not those two, because it doesn't have the right text. Is it this one? No. Okay, well, I'll try to find it. Is it this? No, no, no. But there's some good ones, right? There are some good ones actually. It's just gonna very much depend overall. But yeah, um, those are the gear sets. Now, they also did put them in the normal dungeon, which would suck for uh, people on global who are still farming Transcendence. So I hope they don't do that. But there is like five gear sets now per stage, which is kind of whack, right? It's pretty whack having this much, but we'll have to see because there's some parts that, you know, it makes, we don't know. And there's some parts that it's like, eh. and then now they are adding a PVP spectator mode and pick and ban feature. Um, that's actually pretty good. Pick and man is going to be very nice. Um, so how it's going to look now, unless they make it different, they're probably going to have it like this. So you're going to have normal arena, you're going to have event arena, and then it's this is not going to be there for you guys. Then it's going to be this, and you're going to do one versus one, and you could either do normal or pick and man arena. So that's going to be fun. We'll do some stuff with pick and man actually, much more than a real time arena. I think pick and man is nice. Um, so then new cooking feature, we're going to talk about that, and then merge accessory system. So let's talk about those two. So. As for the uh, merge accessories, it is just a bit of a better way to get accessories, but barely. 
Um, I think that the accessory synth synthesis option, which is what they call it on JP, was a failed, failed approach. Is this Lux name? Uh, smiley face. All right. So if we check it out, it should be this one. Yes. No. No, no, no. So this. So you use accessories. Okay. And let's say select all. It's a, sorry, my bad, I have to, to do this. No, oh, I guess I don't have enough. So two LRs, and I think like a certain amount of SSR and newer together is gonna be now a 15% chance to get an LR. It's not 5% up to 15. I, I don't think it's that crazy, but some people are gonna get lucky. So there is that. Then the cooking one is actually a good update. I don't know if they're gonna add every part to it, but what they will add, if we go to it, is that if you have lower tier ones, you could get higher tier ones. And then also you could, for the gold one, if they do add this, you take two of any blue plus three of any gold, and then you could make red. Pretty decent. I do think that's pretty decent. Okay, so those are the two um, features that they're gonna be adding. The game optimization, floor 14 to 15 of city district now drops rare enchantment stones, and floor 14 to 15 of ice cavern now drop rare talent carved stones. What is that? All right, so what they're gonna be doing is for this one, they're going to add the gold substats, okay, for all of them, which is pretty good, which is what you saw me farming. And then the talent, they're going to be adding the, uh, wait, it's because I didn't have it, the yellow substats, uh, the, well, the yellow talent carved stones. So, I mean, that's honestly a lot better, but it's only a lot better if we could craft purples, which I don't think we can. And then squad, squad renaming feature, added squad entry to the world map, red dot prompt, okay, so a bunch of stuff. Then friends, some friends stuff there, and then that's it yeah oh i guess this is cool inventory categorizing items into gear and accessory so if we go to jp we go to here we could see that there's gear and then accessory so i kind of like that um added mage filtering feature chat feature improvements no longer notify closed options uh yeah like i said it's not really a crazy update there's nothing like that makes you go wow it's just there um the one problem with it in my opinion is how long the update is for what like up until the 30th, there's barely anything. Spire of Honor, okay. Up till the 16th is the only thing we're gonna have. That's it. So, there is Squad Arena on the 8th, but for the first week, it's Yami and Luck, mid seasonals, and Spire of Honor. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys have fun playing um, Black Clover Mobile in the next month. Because the only thing that we're going to really have is Mario Leono. That's, that's it. And I mean, pick and ban is cool, but no matchmaking makes it very, uh, I guess, unfun or like annoying to do. So we'll have to see. But whatever. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.